begin here with suspense. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mount the suspense ceiling rack to a garage ceiling. The first thing I need to do is determine which way the joists are running in the ceiling. And I can use a stud finder or perhaps the old knuckle test where I can find solid and hollow. In this case, I've determined that the joists are running in this direction and this is the joist I want to hang my first ceiling post onto. So step one, find that first hole location. It's very important that I get that right on the center of a joist. Make my mark and this is where I'm going to have to do an additional trick and that is because it is so important to get all of the lag screws for that ceiling post into the center of my joists. So I've located my hole location and now what I'm going to do drill a hole, determine that I hit wood, and now the next important thing to do is see am I on the center of a stud or am I near an edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move 3 eighths of an inch this way and then 3 eighths of the inch the other way and drill a test hole. In that case I missed wood. In this case, I found wood. So I know that I don't, can't totally trust my stud finder, it gets me close, but I have now determined where I want my initial hole. So now that I've offset my hole by 3 eighths of an inch towards the wood side, as my, from my original hole location, I'm going to draw, drill my quarter inch hole to put my lag bolt into. Next, I use the lag screw to install the ceiling post to the ceiling. An old carpenter's trick that will make this easier for you is to take a bar of soap and rub the screw threads along it, soaping the screw threads. The light screw will go in much easier. I now want to put the light screw through my outermost hole in my ceiling post. And I can use a Phillips head screwdriver, crescent wrench, a ratchet wrench, socket wrench set, or in this case I've got my socket on the end of my drill. A lot easier that way and this should be a 3 8 inch socket. Put it in my hole. And I don't want to qu tighten it quite all the way. I want to leave it loose so it will still rotate. We'll see why in a moment. I want to locate the center point of my joist out where the next outermost screw, the fourth screw on the ceiling post is going to be. So, moving along. And I think I have the center point. I'll mark that. And now I want to use the same trick that I used before, where I determine where this is going to be. I line it up exactly along my mark and I drill my test hole right in the center of where that will be. I hit wood there. Now I go 3 eighths to the other side. I hit wood there. And I go 3 eighths to the other side. I've hit wood in all three cases, so I know my first hole is the good one to use. Now I drill my quarter inch hole in my known good location. And now I'm ready to mount the arm. Soak the next lag screw. Rotate this to align with the hole. And into my drilled hole. And this time I'll tighten the first bolt down all the way also. It's now very easy to drill my remaining two quarter inch holes as my ceiling post defines exactly where those holes should be. I next need to locate where I want to put the second ceiling post. The ideal spacing distance is on the order of 40% to 45% 
of the length of my boats or my SUPs. In this case, I've measured that out and what one inevitably finds is it is not exactly what the spacing is for the joists. So find a joist that is close to where you want to be. In this case, I found it. And now repeat the previous steps of drilling your test holes, putting your larger holes, putting the rack on the ceiling post on just at one end and then finding the holes for the other end, repeating your test drills, and then finally attach it to the ceiling. Next I'm going to mount the arms onto the ceiling post. I do this using my bolts with a lock washer and a washer and I can mount these in two locations height wise, highest location or the lowest location. I choose to do the lower location for this install. And now I'll mount the back side arm, again using my bolts with my lock washer and my washer, and I will mount off the back side in this case. So the question is, will my rack support up to four SUPs or two kayaks? Well, let's find out. Should do the trick. 